Hey, go on Aquarius. All right, we're going to do you a uh, spiritual message and see what comes out for your energy. All right, as you can see, it's a fresh, uh, fresh new day, so we'll see what comes out for your energy. Uh, usually we use, um, I think, four or five different tarot decks and a couple different oracle decks. Uh, today will be different. We use um, two tarot decks, and then we're going to use another deck that I've created myself, and then we're going to put the oracle down. All right, so I hope you're having a lovely, beautiful day, and thank you very, very much. Uh, for coming to watch me, but I think we've shuffled the cards enough, and I think we're going to start pretty much now. See what comes out for your energy. Just have a look, see. Card of the day. Complete things out that no longer serve you. It's a circus in the background there, wasn't it? It's in your mindset. It's time to celebrate. Complete things out that no longer serve you. It's magnificent. Trust your intuition too, didn't you? might have played on your mind a lot whatever before we even get into the past before we even get into the future whatever it was in the past it might have played on your mind a lot from the four to the four, the four to the ace ones there it was a little mental jousting and that's why you'd be time celebrating to release anything from the past here or the energies that no longer serve you at the present moment and to releasing those circuses releasing those clowns releasing that type of energy and celebrate she's been to her own drum she's um yeah, it's song Starship, nothing's going to stop us now. Yeah, so, sort, of the, sort of the idea and theory that I've got in my head in itself, but it shows enthusiasm. Now, in fact, in uh, the next deck that I've got over here that we'll use, um, we'll past and present energies, um, I've actually put a, 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 an actual card in that says if you want to write a book, you'll write a book. So we'll see if that card comes out. But that's the card there in itself. So we'll see if it comes out again as it goes through. But it, look, if you want to express yourself thoroughly, that's beautiful. That's self-expression. That's perseverance. It shows change. It shows who you are as a soul. You know, nobody goes through nothing in their life and expects nothing, if that makes sense. You go through everything to expect the best for yourself and the best to move forward into the future, no matter what you do. These, um, trust your intuition around whatever clown circus that was in the past is magnificent, all right? But it does put emphasis on uh, your good dharma, your good um, authentic positivity. Um, you've got to understand the ace is a divine blessing, and that's what that is. And that's also one, one, one. Four, one, one. Four, one, one, one. So that might mean something four plus the three, three ones in itself. There's cut justice. It's kind of um, justice's receipt. Justice comes around for those. Um, it's not bad nor is it good in itself it's just natural law it shows it's your natural law to have opened up that third eye your natural law your natural karma your natural truth your natural fairness your natural cause and effect your natural perspective your natural accountability thank you spirit your natural accountability into who you are as a soul to be authentic in yourself as a soul and still express yourself the way that you express yourself even though you've come through a lot of the things before we even get into the past cards here that you've come through and they give you clarity into yourself as a soul it's another ace is another divine blessing you got to understand that's one 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 now so four so it shows a lot of ones here all right a massive amount of that now the best part about the ones in itself from an angel perspective because that's in my new deck in the self uh, the ones are alignment, manifestation, spiritual awakening, and divine interconnectedness, okay? So it shows that you're thinking what you want and what you don't want, and you're bringing, bringing that energetic gateway into you to open up and give you that spiritual awakeness and that symbol of a new beginning, which is beautiful, and it puts triple emphasis on that, let alone quadruple emphasis, let alone the fact that that looks like four ones there as well, coming through the finish line. Like, it is time to celebrate from whatever you're dealing with here in the past, um, it's time to celebrate, man. You're a divine blessing. We've got ace plus an ace plus. We've got justice in the middle. You have to be a divine blessing. And you have to have completed something out. And you have to be ready to celebrate because that's what that card is. It's time for celebration, time for joy, time for happiness, time for positivity. Leading forward. Let's have a look at the past cards. Woo! Woo! Two Leo energies. Yeah, fearless. Of course you'd be jumping to you. I mean, you've completed something out here in the past that was disgusting. All right, what we're going to do, this is what I mean, man. I've got more ones, I've got more ones, I've got more aces. That's more boss energy, and then I've got the sun there, which is authentic beauty on the inside. It's uh, inside beauty, inner beauty. And we've got justice there, which is the, the, the accountability and perspective. 
and then the king of sword king of wands there is showing how fearless he was and how strong he was at that time of the past there to be the chameleon energy he is and be fearless in that energy stepping forward so it's it's one of them man you you've 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 completed something out you have to have because there's a death card which brings a rebirth okay you've completed something out and you have done it fearlessly all right whether that is completion of a relationship whether it's 13 days ago 13 weeks ago 13 months ago 11 weeks ago uh whether that's a job whether that's um even allowing people to walk all over you you know allowing people to put you down and things like that stopping that negativity and showing who you are by being authentically yourself and stopping that bullshit, allowing these beautiful things is only going to give you a rebirth as well in that type of energy. But this is more along the lines, like this is major in itself because I've got two major arcanas in itself and I've got um, a king of cups plus a king of wands here. So to show from the alpha to an omega, from another alpha to an omega, like it is like beautiful strength and that beautiful energy, especially for that phoenix to rise from its ashes. So that's what the death is. Aquarius is just a rebirth and but it's transformation. Oh, beautiful it's the cycles of transformation anyway but it shows those cycles of transformation it's a reflection see the reflection look at all the reflection there's a reflection there maybe that's all the reflections there is but it's just that's inner reflection and that's reflection in itself because it's the light look at the reflection see that you might have been hiding a lot of things from the past and that's maybe why you wanted to express yourself and things like that but you've got something coming in. See the shit that's coming in? It's like you are the diplomacy of love, right? Because we've got the, the caterpillar turning into the, uh, the butterfly here, the phoenix rising from its ashes. But that's the reflection. But the reflection of you as a soul is the dipl diplomacy of love, you know? The king of cups is diplomacy. Male or female is irrelevant in my readings. And the king of cups is somebody who knows how to love. Somebody who knows who they are, they're supportive, they're emotionally balanced, they're friendly, wise, warm-hearted, emotionally restrained. Nobody's asking you to be perfect in itself, but it just shows you're a heart-centered leader, and that's beautiful. Um, an incredible capacity to love-centered, profound connection to spirit, emotional intelligence, and it's beautiful. But it's the emotional joy and freedom to feel the emotions as a way to self-discovery, especially on the way to meditative states of um, bliss. To be entirely in touch with your desires and bring your things to fruition that's magnificent and now i've got the four with a new beginning a brand spanking new beginning as you beat to your own drum man look there she they got ten brains up here she's literally beat to her own drum in, in the world there's an, abu there's an abundant new beginning coming all right it's the best way to say that because even though it looks like four ones as well look bomb 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 and it's the knight of ones there's the fourth ones there's four ones there's a lot of ones this is a very 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 strong reading for somebody Right, but beating to your own drum. And so that's what I was saying here. In just this one card that's come out here, by you being authentically yourself and just high vibing and being that diplomacy of love of who you are as a supportive, emotionally balanced, perfect, not perfect, uh, emotionally balanced person. Nobody's asking anybody to be perfect. Is embracing who you are as a soul. Now I've got transformation here, and then I've got that coupled with the sun. We'll have a look at the past energies in a second. But what that shows is your inner beauty. Okay, it's a card of yes, but it's a card of well-grounded and inner beauty. And that would be the reflection that shines off the reflection there, if that makes sense, so for the sun to shine a new day. Okay, because that's what the sun is, is it brings a new day, another new day of hope and positivity. You're trusting your um, intuition into your hopes, which is magnificent, because that's going to lead you to where you want to go, especially a very highly intuitive card like that. And it also couples with uh, more passion over there, that king of wands. In your heart, woo! co-creation yeah man more more boss energy uh we got three kings that's what i mean you've taken you've taken a right perspective in some sort of way okay because we've got three kings out here i'll see where the empress comes out but i've got you have to be the empress already because the empress is, has to be there because you've already taken that right perspective towards creativity there in that type of thing and beating to your own drum but beating to your own drum is the wise perspective see beating to your own drum underneath that in its uh, north, uh south energy it shows taking the right perspective with wisdom freedom of thoughts and the right see as that bird's looking down the right perspective towards the future right perspective towards the heartfelt choices right perspective towards things leading towards your future which is beautiful Amen. 
The past is a learning curve for starters for the decks where it says, yeah, just to release any burdens, okay? It's a learning curve. You're about to step on the solid foundation and you're dealing with somebody who is um, broken promises, lies, slander, hidden truths, gossip, uh, incredible amounts of ego and inauthentic in that ego, but then they had explosive emotion on the top of that as well. Okay, but the best part about this is I've got a king to a queen of wands and in between that is you completing that stuff out to brace. That's what I'm saying. You have to be already the empress already because the fact is, is the queen of wands is in the overlining energy. So, but in between that, when I chuck that there, it's going to be a four of wands. So she completed out anybody dominating and, and putting it down and hurting you to stand true to yourself here to come through that finish line to embrace this of what you already were and to bring that strength into yourself as a soul to not allow anybody to walk all over you not allow anybody to take advantage of you not allow anybody with inauthentic positivity to come around with hidden agendas and psychic attacks and bullshit here from the past the past is you're about to step on the solid foundation and being that freedom to feel all those things along the way it gives you the chance with that page of swords to not only learn the lessons but you've got to understand that it's an overlining energy so it puts emphasis on you learning the learning the lessons it's a uh, like it's a smart energy if that makes sense the page of swords is smart that's why she's learning up there see the so she's learning the she determination by the way learning curve if i was surrounded by the light at this present moment leading forward okay the black cut shows that you're highly protected and you've got to understand there's there's the transformation of that death card which is the butterfly and then the overlining energies is the light of that butterfly see the light of the butterfly shows you've taken that transformation into your own hands as you lead forward into your own journey didn't come easy it was, it was hard if that makes sense a lot of hard work and determination went into you as a soul in order to learn who they, who, who this was in the past here because that's an imposter uh, and your heart's too protected it's an imposter there in the past there uh, you needed to use logical reason with this person um, organize your thoughts because they're all talking no action but that is a tattletale a gossiper which is likely to be exposed okay because that exposed uh, imposter frivolity cunning it might have been big time possible ill health there um, whatever it is there is more evil sides to this person's qualities and it was unforeseen and you it's like you were unprepared for it or something like that because um He's chameleon, and he's cha he's chameleon, and he's changed, but he's also short-sighted, and he wouldn't be able to see past his ego. And there's the empress. You already know you are the empress. See, that's what I mean. It's in the crown. It's on the thoughts. You're already the empress, if that makes sense. You know you're the empress, which is beautiful. Shows uh, shows pride in oneself. Shows morals and integrity. Empress is beautiful. Empress is all four queens in the deck, which is why we have all all the four kings out here as well. But they know you're the empress too sucked in you piece of shit they should have seen your wife at that time but unfortunately they wanted to come through with a lot of deception and a lot of trickery where you've had to open your third eye up in order to understand you might have had to go on some sort of spiritual journey um, and maybe that's what the Ace of Wands is about some sort of spiritual journey where you've had to discover who you are who you are as a soul and in itself it's giving uh, Dark Knight of the Soul type of energy but it does come through with deception and, and justice okay they fucked around they're gonna fuck around and find out they're gonna fuck around and find out 34 or 43 might be a number to somebody but the fact that I've got deception and trick artists, tricks the con artists you like Whatever it was, they were lying to you. There was lies. You were being bamboozled by a con artist who tried to swindle you in some sort of way. Um, there might have been something stolen. There might be massive secrets that you still don't know. They might have taken more than their fair share, but then that puts emphasis on um, somebody who was uh, annoying. Either way, this karma coming for that shit. And they will regret it when the karma comes around. See the deception and karma in itself, and then there's regret. So, unfortunately, they fucked around and found out because you're the empress. So, your unconditional love, you know that. They know that because it's being completed out. So, of course, you'd be celebrating leading forward, especially with that transformation. But they're in regret. See their regret for the deception, and they know justice is coming because they fucked around and found out. It's the best way to say that. Yeah, as you released it, it's the best way to say that, released it for the right perspective onto who you are as a soul, and that couples with clarity and clarity to that. Amen. Which is beautiful. But yeah, whatever it is here in the past has been released. Okay, because it's in regret. It's in regret. Whatever that whatever it is is in regret. Okay, yeah. You got options coming into your future, okay, and they're coming into the background, you just can't see them at the present moment. 
Yeah, man. You, you are so strong and you're fearless in your energy, especially with that beautiful um, learning curve that it is, especially around the illusions from the past here. Because for those two cards to come out, it does put emphasis on the past, putting a massive amounts of illusions into your life. And then in between that, I've got the seven of uh, illusions over there, the seven of deception there, and then I've got the magician with the illusions over there manifested in. Yeah, man, whatever they were in the past there, they would you couldn't see potential. They had questionable intentions, very selfish and self-destructive. Might have been very massive amounts of manipulation or illusion, a very big disgrace, okay? They might have been weak-willed or used their power for uh, destructive ends in itself. And there's a disharmony with the temperance out. So the magician, seven of cups, illusions, the manipulation of the illusions by disharmony. It does put emphasis on somebody's hidden agendas and psychic attacks over here. Okay, that it's like it's like they it's like they put the illusions into your life to deceive you so they could keep you, if that makes sense, or something like that. Because that's there, you have to trust your trust your intuition, and you beat to your own drum, and that's magnificent. But there were oil and water. That was uh, disharmony. It was my way or the highway attitude, and that brings those thoughts into form, if that makes sense, because their disharmony because temperance is a heavenly virtue and you're a heavenly virtue and they know that and they know they put disharmony into your life as you're beating to your own drum man same cars just come out they, they, they might even be able to see you beating to your own drum because that's their perspective if that makes sense knight of wands and the knight of wands as you beat to your own drum she's got the fucking wand in her hand there for fuck's sake the amethyst of thought she's come through the four here the four of wands she's come through all of this shit here of that circus there she's come through the four of wands to celebrate and beat to her own drum with passion and enthusiasm and of course you should You've come through something in the past here that's uh, disharmony. It's it's not good in itself. So, of course, you would, after coming through this stuff, like I said before, we pulled any of these cards. I'm going to add these cards here. After coming through this stuff in the past before we even get to the proper past energies, of course, you would be enthusiastic about some sort of new beginning to beat, jump, beat your own drum and play the tambourine and do these things. Of course, you would be ready for that type of energy, taking the right perspective towards your heart. Yeah, Six of Wands in reverse shows that they're not a victory. Okay, they might be very pessimistic, short-sighted, arrogant, temperamental. They might have been a fall from grace. And the worst part about it... It's like they were passionately doing it or something like that. That's what I mean. This is what I mean. Because if that card, that card, and then that card come out. And then with deception in the middle of it. And the temperance is over there with the high priestess with that trust in the rumors, gossip, lies, slander, where you had to trust your, your intuition. Then it's like they were going out of their way, if that makes sense, to put the disharmony into your life. So it would keep that there, if that makes sense. Does it make sense? That's the best way to say this, Spirit. Okay. Yeah. All right. If somebody had a fetish for like, want to be hate fucked. Yeah, let's say it like that, right? Somebody had a fetish for that. Okay, you didn't know that, then they liked it, right? And then, and then, so they would come home and get you angry. So they got hate fucked, if that makes sense. There's some sort of deception there, and but they liked it, if that makes sense. And we can see the illusions there, you, because you come at it with unconditional love. They know you're the empress, but they put deception in there for some sort of reason. And no matter what it is, that six of wands is in reverse. Now, six of wands upright is beautiful. Success. In reverse, it's not success, and there's no victory there. It shows that somebody is very pessimistic. There's some may have been taking advantage of you, may have been playing on you, whether it's self-doubt, imposter syndrome or something like that. It might have been being taken to granted, granted for in the past. With no, the, they might have just craved external validation like a motherfucker, like there's no tomorrow. Okay, but it does show delayed victory. You couldn't see eye to eye with the person, let alone this is the one card we're talking about here. And the fact that we got oil and water in that energy does put emphasis on a lack of connection, a fall from grace but massive amounts of disloyal, disloyalty and treachery because I've got deception, deception in that energy and that's just this card they're talking about. Inside mine, yeah, man. man. There's justice coming for it, man. They wanted to be egotistical bullshit. There's justice coming for it. <laughs> they fucked around and found out, man. That's what I mean. That's your ace. That's you. You're the, you're the divine blessing. Does it make sense? That cup needs to overflow. So there's their justice. Air justice. The cup needs to overflow. Now it's flowing in some sort of way. It's because of their ego and bullshit that they wanted to come at it with their... And there's their fucking karma, man. Oh, there's karma. And it's even in the right direction for karma. And then there's their justice. And then there's putting emphasis on their justice in regret for the things they've done. 
This is what I mean. There's justice coming for the past. Let's put the deck one more time. Spirit says for the illusions, man. Far out. Somebody put illusions into your life. They didn't need to be there. There's justice. Now there's karma at the end of this. See, it's right there. But the best part about this is, like I said, it's like you were already the empress. You come through that finish line and become the emperor. See? See, you're already the empress. Shum. Through the finish line, and now you're the emperor and the empress. Does it make sense? Very strong, very, very beautiful in that type of energy. But like I said before, we even pulled any of these decks. There it is right there for you, right in front of you. You're already the empress. People walk all over the Empress energies. They think it's okay because they think that the Empress will put up with it, which is why you embrace that Emperor energy onto the masculine and feminine version, and you come through this stuff, and you beat to your own drum, and it's like a, a nice way of saying, fuck you. Um, all right, what we're going to do now, don't worry about the pictures on these cards. They'll all change. All right, this is just my deck that I've collaborated together for my readings. They'll all change soon because uh, the, the original tarot decks of 78 cards, I don't believe from my perspective, or I could keep just doing what I was doing and adding onto those 78 cards, but I don't want to do that. So we're going to make our own deck and then put it all together. All right, we're going to have a look a little bit further. I want to see the justice for the illusions that somebody's put into your life. Like I said, I want to know how, 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 what an idiot, what an idiot this person is from the past, all right? Because you come up with it with authentic positivity as a learning curve, and that's just sheer determination, yeah? But the thing is, is they have to be a dickhead. They're in regret, they, they're in regret for their deception, it's right there, deception, regret, and that's their justice, is relief for, release for, that's magnificent, because it does show emphasis on their justice, as you protect your energy and put strong boundaries in place uh, from the past. But like, what sort of an idiot doesn't see that until it's too late? So let's have a look. Numerology, uh, numerology number five. Uh, you might be a new uh, life path number five. It might be something in some some sort of way that uh, numerology number five puts emphasis on change. But that card number one hundred and thirty-five means this. It's uh, the communicator. They're a very year, man. All right, we're going to see a couple of cards in a second because it goes hand in hand with that one card of 135 that has come out. I think the name Jody might mean something to somebody. Or Cherry Blossoms. You were taking on too much from the past there. Um, they're just, they were superficial, untrustworthy, they were all talk and no action, and they were shifting opinions. Okay, which shows the choice that you had to make. Okay, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, and there's the rock and a hard place, and there she's stuck in that type of energy. She's blocked and bound and binded by choices of being stuck in a rock and a hard place, stalemates, choices, things like that. But it's the communication of yourself as a soul in order to step step towards yourself. Okay, you're definitely dealing with somebody superficial, untrustworthy. Okay, all talking about actions, and with that shifting opinions of why I've written that in there. Is it's like you know how when somebody is one one second they're um all happy and uh, oh wow we're doing this today and then and then two days later they've I don't know they're a completely different person again it's just shifting opinions that's what I mean by that when I say that and it shows that you're stuck between a rock and a hard place with somebody who put illusions into your life now we can see the maloons are uh, the illusions but both of these cards they're both blinded so it puts emphasis on the fact that um you may have been hiding stuff or you may not have seen stuff. Okay, here from the past, where they're trapping, bonded, bound, manipulating you or by choices, okay? Now, here's where I come back to the temperance in reverse over here, by the way that these cards came out and the way the justice is up there. It's like you're being stuck, if that makes sense, or stuck between a rock and a hard place by somebody who knew that they were keeping you stuck. See those two cards there? Stuck by between a rock and a hard place, okay, by... Okay, that's the hardest way to explain this one. Uh... Like it, like I said before, if, if if you're in a relationship where the person likes to be hate fucked and you never knew that about them, and so they come home and they just love the fact that they like to be hate fucked, so the best thing they do is they go out of their way to manipulate you or hurt you when they come in the door, so you hate fuck the shit out of them, then that's a bound and bound by manipulation on the tactics of manipulation of that devil that keeps you. You should be able to just fucking have fun and hate fuck them. You don't have to come. They don't have to come and lie and manipulate to do it. But I'm just using that as an advantage if that makes sense. It puts emphasis to that here. Yeah, and there's the deception. There's that card there. The deception puts emphasis on the fact that if somebody was keeping you blind, uh, blindfolded, bound, or trapped or manipulated here through deception in the past here, 
Okay. Cherry blossoms is a very beautiful smell. Okay, it shows um, good communication leading forward. I'm so glad that I put that superficial and untrustworthy book card in there. Yeah, you have to trust your intuition. Uh, disharmony. Um, you had to trust your intuition around this person massively and when I mean you had to trust your intuition is because there was some sort of lies or something something there was trapping or binding you by deception look trap binded by deception and so if for this freaking 158 six cards in this deck and there's some horrible cards in these ones trust me on that but you're trusting your intuition leading forward okay and that's beautiful but that would definitely there's some, some sort of keeping secrets uh, mistruths, gossip, hidden agendas or something or they like yes they may be massively fear of your intuitive abilities but that's not what we're talking about here at the present moment we're talking about the past energies and yes they may be massively intuitive like in fear of your intuitive abilities I'm only being very conceited there's something that couldn't be known because of lack of depth okay they didn't want to listen to their inner past or in a in a in a mindset. Okay, they needed to listen to our intuition because whatever it was, because it's a, it, at that stage it was a time for you to be cautious of somebody's either hidden agendas or you were having to get the truth from here to somebody else because they were too conceited. All right, that was the size you left you out in the cold. But at that stage of card one hundred nineteen puts emphasis on your virtues of yourself as a soul. And to still step forward knowing beautiful things are coming. Okay, it puts emphasis on... Um, it's just funny that that card of 119, which is not even in the original tarot deck, uh, just come out because it says this. They were not listening. Somebody, well, either you weren't listening to your inner voice there, but I'd say you have to be because of the fact that it's over there as well. So I'd say that they weren't listening to their inner voice because that's just what's come out here not listening to the inner voice, misinterpreting the things, okay, the consequences of ignore, ignorance, okay, I've put that in for some reason, consequences of ignorance, that might mean something to somebody, but they, whether you weren't following your intuition, but I'd say you were, but I'd say that they were following their intuition, and there was some sort of deep guilt from within, because there was some sort of internal monologue, or pridefulness, that they were ignoring there, because of this one card here, of 119, of why I've pulled that in there, and with the deception there, around those illusions, uh, in itself for collectives it's very hard to pull that energy out because there's so much manipulation there in itself because I can see that there is clarity let alone the manipulations has come out here but it shows your morals and integrity is beautiful okay that success is at the end of a long fucking journey man it's you leveling up to cleanse and learning to not ignore any instincts and learning to step into towards your own soul song, soul song and leading towards yourself with yourself as a soul man you might like pie or chips or french fries or something in itself but well that might mean something to somebody that card there you trusted your intuition around their hidden agendas and that's magnificent they're putting obstacles in your life by keeping you stuck by those obstacles we can see it from this direction which is why that death card had to come around which brings the rebirth now that's magnificent in itself but there's one thing about this card that is beautiful for why I've put that card number 92 in there, okay? It's harvest time. It's finding that joint inspiration leading forward as you can see it here as we go through. But here's the part where it comes back from the past, man. That you might have had to like take care not to engage in some sort of... Whether it's fighting, deception, conflict or something there. Or whether it's even scarcity thinking, okay? It's, it's like finding the courage to step forward, okay? And that's beautiful. But then whatever you're dealing with in the past, they might have been whinging. They might have been whinging. I put that number card 92 in there for a specific reason. They might have been whinging or, or some sort of whinging about some sort of missed opportunity. The name Ken. Maxwell. Alfred. Olivia, Lila, Daisy may mean something to you. It's a card of clarity, it's a card of truth, it's a card of um, Archangel Metatron too, by the way, I put that in there for a specific reason. 146 is a card of Archangel Metatron. It shows the energy of clarity of thought of Archangel Metatron 
is who you are as a soul. Whatever you were dealing with in the past, you could not get a clear mind about something. There was a state of mental chaos. I put that in there, 146, for a certain reason. You can't get a clear mind about something from the past there. Whatever it was in the past, energies that you were dealing with, okay, it's been released now as you step forward with sheer determination. But it was hard to break out of old patterns there in the past. Now, that's just that card before we get to this next card, okay, from Archangel Metatron there. There was some sort of habits of worry. There was doubt or self-criticism. There was some sort of somebody, that something was either criticizing you or putting shit and worries into your life that you didn't need. Now, that could be the temperance in reverse over there, but that seems to put emphasis a little bit more on the... I can't wait to see, because that... I can't wait to see what ca that card's coupled with into the future, because that puts emphasis on indigo vibrations leading towards the future. Whatever it was in the past there, you could not have clarity, you could not have... You could not have it. There was some sort of state of mental cl um, clarity. Now, it's coupled with Archangel uh, number 000 which is a beautiful card to have. Angel number zero, 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 is so your sense of perspective is changing. Something you're dealing with in the past needed some sort of perspective change. That is a lot of fucking deception, man. Like I said, I've got horrible cards in these decks, but i got really good cards too, and a lot of them are just, they're horrible for that type of energy from the past. The name Clark may mean something to somebody. Whatever it is, you're tuning into the highest sense of yourself as you're aligning with your divinity leading forward and they don't like it because they're in regret there. You can see that there. Apollo, the name Glenn might mean something to somebody. The same card. That's angel number 777. That angel number 777, I put in for a very specific reason, whatever it was, man, you were dealing with in the past, man, and this is the choice that you have made because you're a beautiful soul. They were fucking morbid, man. They were depressive. They were hypercritical. I put this in for a specific reason. They were hypercritical. They were antisocial, whether it's pessimistic, because I can see it over here, but this is this one card I'm talking about that is some sort of dependency. They might have been narrow minded, argumentative, resentful, self righteous. This may mean something to somebody. It's coupled with the fact that you could not have clarity with this person. They were playing in your mind, and that's disgusting. Now, whether they were playing on your psychic abilities, which is fucking very punishable in a spiritual fucking war, I tell you right now. So that's what I'm saying. Fuck around and find out. Type of shit. Empress to an emperor. No way. You wouldn't do that to somebody. Puts emphasis on the fact that they must have been a fucking massive idiot. Well, they're just they're just hypercritical, man. Alexa, what is the meaning of hypercritical? The adjective hypocritical is usually defined as of the nature of hypocrisy or pretense of having virtues. Ooh, yes, Alexa. Principles. Shut up. Is that hypocrisy? Or hypocrisy? How have I spelt that? Hypocritical. Yeah, no, it's hypocritical. You just suck. Yeah, man, excessively and un unreasonably critical around small faults. Okay, they might have been sarcastic. It just... It just might have been meticulous and excessively critical in some sort of way, okay? It might have been critical underneath too because a buzz put a fucking hell of a lot of emphasis on some disgusting piece of crap there in the past being very deceptive. Alright, that's the past energies. What we're going to do is have a look at the future energies now. And have a look. Whatever it is, that transformation is magnificent because we have Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana, King, King, Queen, Queen. Them in regret for the deception. That's what they're in regret for, is that deception there. Same cards. And Ten of Pentacles coming soon. All right, let's have a look here. All right, so Ten of Cups um, in itself, okay, but it's, yeah, it's fucking completed out. Whatever the relationship that was in the past there, Whatever relationship that was in the past there, where you're taking on too much, uh, superficial, untrustworthy, they stabbed you completely in the back, but it's finished now, and that's the best way, so that shifts the opinion, and that's communication there for somebody, but it's completed now, leading forward. 
It's completed to have happiness and joy and prosper and prosper leading forward. It's card number 93. The name joy may mean something to you. Strawberries may mean something to somebody. Number 93, huh? Yeah, man. Pause and reflect on your growth leading forward. It's not even a, that'd be the seven of pentacles in itself, which is pause and reflect on your growth, yeah? But with that card 93, it's actually a card of pause and reflect, yeah? Balancing your life leading forward, taking time to smell the roses, you know, the little things, and you know, finding all those beautiful help things along the way, whether it's yourself or, you know, whatever it is, community, working into improved three previous people, profit, planet, and things like that. And itself, or whatever it is, it's, com it's completed out so you can have that joy. But it's the choices you receive to release yourself and free yourself from any type of family or friend or lover or something like that. It shows, it says it fearless expression on itself. It shows the fearless expression of yourself of um, to be able to step forward and, and keep putting that temperance in and keep putting that sheer determination in to even though they've stabbed you in the back and even though that temperance is out over there to still step forward making the choose and choices to free yourself from whatever bullshit that was to be able to bring these things to fruition and that is the fearless expression of yourself as a soul uh, you may like honeydews or cupcakes yeah man it's a time to show off your talents this is what I mean it puts emphasis to that ace of wands there this is what this card says your soul was laid bare yes it's a time for you to show off your talents and, and your beauty your self confidence you know, in your heart and singing it to be clearly accepting your value, your self worth, finding your courage and your fearless expansion of your joy, leading forward, behind, leading forward, and emperor to an empress as well, and communication to have balance leading forward as they receive their karma, and that's fair in itself. But that fearless expression leading forward is beautiful because it shows your soul is laid bare, and you are that fearless expression leading towards that joy, and that's what that card says: a fearless expression of joy. And that's what the card says before it. Fearless expression of um, happiness and joy. Yeah, because your morals and integrity is magnificent. You show morals and integrity leading forward. And that's beautiful. What what does that mean? So with the Queen of Wands in that type of energy, it shows that um, you will still step forward and you'll still be that smart, independent person with an excellent communication, honest integrity and all the um, knowledge and, and, and settling the calamities of what the Queen of Swords brings. But it shows clear perception leading forward of calm and cool and collected, and that's beautiful, and that's that's actually actually really lovely. It's a the, I don't even remember writing that, but it's the ability to cut through the bullshit with clear vision and clear communication, with intelligence and leading forward with the fearless expression to release any burdens. Okay, trusting your intuition that there was some sort of hidden 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 agendas. Okay, this says um, uh, you might like peaches, you might like eating peaches. It says peaches on there. Um, says so card number 152 now 152 is emphasis on um reliability you might have been relying a lot of friends um friends happiness and things leading forward but it shows that you're sharing that responsibilities because it's over there in the past you might have been taking on some sort of burdens on the past there and there's releasing those burdens to be able to step forward might have been holding a lot of built up emotion from the past as you step forward with a senseless beautiful things to be able to step forward and that's magnificent you might have been holding things back it's got the high priestess coupled with that card you might have been holding things back from the past there yeah that is card number 114 card number that says Charlie on it for starters um, card number 114 is a beautiful card it says you rise And that's beautiful. And that is a man far out. This card here, the card number 14, 114. Okay, we've got the death and rebirth, which is a transformation and a sort of phoenix rising from its ashes. The center of the future here, we've got 156 cards to grab from. Yeah, you might like Giorgio Armani or Armani or something like that, okay? Um, but it says rise. And this is what this card means. It means it's a rebirth, the magic of the phoenix, the second changes, the redos, the new opportunities stepping up to your potential falling down yesterday to stand up today what lies beneath you and what lies in front of you what does that mean falling down yesterday to stand up today it, it shows going through all of those things yesterday and learning learning the lessons to be able to bring those to fruition leading towards the future 
and you fell down yesterday. Bitch, you re-rose again, Phoenix, and that's beautiful to be able to stand up tomorrow. And that's beautiful. You're not allowing anybody to limit your expectations at the present moment. The name Noah is written on that. Um, you might like cinnamon. They look like cinnamon sticks as well. I didn't realize that when I put them cards down. But you've possibly, um, yes, innovative new ways of thinking. That's leading towards that higher level of consciousness as you're rising, as you're stepping through fearlessly, by the way. And that's beautiful. But you're inspirational leading forward. And that's beautiful innovation. And you're not allowing anybody to put limitations on you as you're glorifying yourself in that state of mystical experience and embracing your soulmate yourself and that awakening to that new perspective is only leading you towards the possibilities of anything that's that's yeah that's what i mean it's that's why i've put that there is you're not limiting yourself yeah you're not allowing any fucking bullshit of any manipulation from their psychic attacks or bullshit as you re-rise phoenix to be able to release their burnings or burdens around their um, psychic attacks and hidden agendas okay and it's coupled with clarity of thought okay and that's beautiful Releasing burdens and rising and not allowing anybody to play with your limitations. Ah. You're not allowing anybody to fucking play with you leading towards the future. It's coupled with clarity. It's coupled with the card daisy. Oh, you're not allowing anybody to play with your future. You're not allowing it. You're sitting sitting sweet and just smashing it out because you get justice on your side for starters as well. Embracing that masculine to feminine. And it's coupled with clarity. The best part about this card here with this card being coupled with that card there is if even if they want to play psychic attacks all those mind game bullshit you're not allowing the limitations to come through you're allowing yourself to heal and step forward and that's beautiful I'm not sure what's patches and there's the fucking ten of pentacles we're talking about finally on the last card here it is here the healing so you can bring that abundance into yourself as a soul and that's beautiful okay you're protecting your boundaries and putting boundaries in place allowing that cup to overflow which is yourself as a soul and whatever it is, you come into a ten of pentacles, this there it is there. So just heal, okay, because as it comes through, and don't allow anything to play on your mindset leading forward as you're not really in itself. But that self deception can come back in because fuck with play on your mind along the way and think that it's okay to do so. Because tell see that that tell me that ain't fucking big time mind games right there. Yeah, considering they're not even looking there, all they do is looking forward to fucking things they can manipulate. Uh these are the energies I have in front of me. I have Libra. I have Aries, I have Scorpio, I have Pisces. I have Air in general. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I have Aries. I have Fire, sorry. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. They're just energies, but they're there for a specific reason. Listen. Could have been areas you're dealing with in the past. Talking about multiple times. There's also a lot of swords there, which shows clear and clear logic and clear intellect leading forward, but you're also on air sign. Now have a look at that outcome. I'm going to pull some extra cards of clarity. Yeah, man, they thought they could ostracize you, didn't they? They fucking, I knew it, you motherfuckers. There it is right there. See that? There it is right there. See that? Okay, figured it. Sometimes I might even start changing the outcome cards first so that way I don't have to figure it as I'm going along. <coughs> but there's the obstacles they put into your life. That's what that is, obstacles. The five of pentacles is obstacles. See, left out in the cold, obstacles, things you didn't need in your life. It's like they were going out of their way to be pessimistic or something or put illusions into your life you didn't need. And there's the obstacles in your life and illusions that you didn't need into your life by manipulating you. And of course, you'd be jumping for joy to be free from that. Like I said at the start, of course, you'd be jumping for joy as you come through to celebrate being free from some sort of manipulation and abuse here of the past of somebody's ego. As she's jumping, for, she's a cheerleader. It's in the outcome. It's like you're jumping for joy. They can ostracize you and put you down as much as you want. But it's like Spirit steps in and says, no. Oh, because she's what she's doing she's jumping for joy she's an enthusiastic new beginning coming but she's also trust the trials and tribulations to be able to embrace it so she doesn't have to go back to a number card they can ostracize you and leave you out as much as they all they did was fucking put illusions into their 
Look, they are a victory. Does that make sense? So they've put illusions into their own life. They've ostracized themselves out of the cold, like I said there, in the outcome. They ostracized themselves out and left themselves out in the cold. Yep, there's them in regret. That's that card there. See that card there? See the blessing that you are? Friends, family, lovers. See? Friends, family, lovers. Friends, family, lovers in itself. Shows you have morals and integrity. Massive amounts of morals and integrity, and they don't like that. They might be um, very hostile towards you. Might be very hostile or defensive or aggressive towards you, okay? Uh, Versace may mean something to somebody, okay? They've, they've gone out of their way to ostracize you and leave you out in the cold, that's for sure. The name Ruby might mean something to somebody. But with that card there, it does put emphasis on the fact that they might be hostile. They've put illusion. They've deceived themselves out of their own blessing. Look, right there. They've deceived themselves out of their own fucking blessing. There it is right there. The deception in itself of all that deception in the past it's like all the shit they did in the past they can't come back from in the past into the future so therefore they become defensive or something like that it's card number 148 and that like I said there's horrible cards in these decks for a specific reason but yeah defenses up hostilities man just put your energies uh, in boundaries in place okay because whatever you've been engaged with in the past okay they, it's the end of those hostilities which is beautiful Okay, and they're shifting those energies around you, and those uh, that aggression, those a action has ended, embodies more peace and harmony, leading forward and towards the future, which is beautiful. But you are definitely dealing with somebody who is excessively critical, someone who is excessively critical, demanding, hurtful, backstabbing, slander, going on, like things like that you may not have seen or something like that, and they might have been ready to battle or something like that. But in itself, it shows friends, family, lovers, and that's what they're in regret about. Lou. Because you have morals and integrity leading forward, and that's clear, decisive action into your boss energy of being the masculine, and feminine version of yourself. And it's like how can like okay, how can you fuck with the King of Swords? We gotta be honest, man. The, the King of Swords are just fucking telling you to fuck yourself a thousand times over, and that would create hostilities. They expected bad things for you, and it didn't work out that way, did it? Maybe the oracles. Let's have a look here pull some extra cards yeah you're just cleansing out anything okay around the deception okay and that's beautiful um a prophecy stone eh it's your balance it's your good dharma that brings that forward into the future they don't like it okay because you have some sort of prophecy you're cleansing out all their bullshit from the past which is magnificent okay because we got the cleansing here as well let alone all of that and it's coupled with clarity and yeah, transition, there's a transition, man. Whatever transition that you've taken place, because it's a perspective, it's fucking magnificent, man. Yeah, the courage. Look at the line on the strength there and the courage. Look at the courage from going through all that bullshit in the past there and crossing that bridge, because that's what it says, the courage to cross that bridge. Yeah, look at that. There's the fucking bridge there. Look at it. You couldn't see it. Look, to cross that bridge, because there's the finish line, by the way. And to come out being the emperor to the empress is fucking magnificent. You're the divine soul, and that's beautiful. Yeah, you might be able to channel. You may be able to listen to me channel. One way or another, you're getting the messages. This is beautiful. Your growth is magnificent leading forward, which is magnificent. Time for self-love. Yeah, time for self-love. That's magnificent, and that brings balance, which is magnificent. And that's your growth at the present moment leading forward. We've taken the right perspective to create some, complete something out and see the bigger perspective, bigger picture, see see the bigger perspective, my perspective, which sees a bigger bigger picture, I suppose. Being to your own drum is being, being you and it's very soul healing, okay? Like I said, whether it's you beating to your own drum and people seeing what you've gone through and seeing that if you can do it, you know, and how strong you are to keep going through, then that's healing to the universe in itself because whatever it is you beat to your own drum is only bringing it in quicker to heal in itself and there's clarity for somebody in truth especially around somebody who's playing around fucking with temperance in reverse like I said before this took me on a little bit of illusion at the start there I don't know if you've seen it man before we pulled any of the cards and I said because it's like they were going out of their way to put a fucking illusions into your life now that's why I said with the hate fuck thing because I can't seem to figure it out um, any, any a better way to say it than that it's like somebody was putting deception into your life and illusions into your life and there's justice coming for that shit up there because it's a learning curve but they've put deception into your life when you didn't need it. It's coupled with clarity around now. You trust in your intuition leading forward. 
or at least anything from the past, which is fair. Waiting on the horizon for these beautiful things to come in as it's inspiration, and that's a cheerleader in the background. There's a lot of emotion coming in, which is beautiful. Okay, it's on the pathway. And the last card, there's truth. Truth and clarity for somebody right there. Trust your intuition. It's helping you be grounded leading forward. And that's magnificent. If me... You know what? Give me this deck to clarify it. Make sure, just give me an extra couple of seconds. Ooh! Your heart's too beautiful. That's the kind of same card in the heart. See that card there? It's right in the heart. Now you receive justice because your heart's beautiful. See? They, they know your heart's fucking beautiful. It's just sucked into the pieces of shit. They receive justice because they went out of their way to put shit into your life. They're all teamwork and they, their way to put shit into your life, which is why you had to see the bigger perspective. Everyone, that's why they receive justice. And so if, and they wanted to fucking play on your mind games, but you can't do it leading forward. See that? They wanted to play mind games. And it's right here. And it's coupled with clarity, right? They want to play mind games, but you can't fucking play with an emperor, can you? I allow it. it controls his land with authority. Clarity, truth, you know your worth, you know your worth, you know your wisdom, it's bringing your wish fulfillment in. Okay, yeah, you were dealing with somebody who's codependent and they left you out in the cold and hurt you. Okay, friends, family, or lovers, but it's brought you to that boss energy of yourself as a soul. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. They'll lead yourself to the soul, into yourself as a soul, which is magnificent. And beating to your own drum is only leading you towards that right direction. Yeah, it's waiting on the horizon for these things to come into fruition, which is beautiful. But, like I said, they were selfish, cold, and lazy, and now they're in regret because of all the baggage and shit they put into your life. Look, there's the baggage, and now they're in regret. Unfortunately, that's how it fucking works in life. That's why the, re the rebirth has to come around, so you can have your death and rebirth, and re-rise again, because that's what cycles of life is all about. That is the reading I have for you for today. I hope you have a lovely, beautiful day. Take care. God bless. You're very, very strong. Very, very strong indeed. Um, there's not really much I have to say here. Like you're the emperor to the empress, man. You can't validate that type of energy. They're already validated because they already know who they are. And that's potential for this card here of you knowing your worth. Uh, you're very beautiful leading forward and somebody's a piece of shit cock from the past there. You can tell that. The start is, but man, you got a ten of pentacles coming. It's your part of your growth to heal. Leading forward and it's beautiful. They just understand beautiful things are coming in. Um, if... Um, if you don't celebrate Easter, have a happy, lovely day. Take care and be safe. You'll probably see me before then anyway. Um, back at it now. Still training. Doing my things. But um, thank you very, very much for coming to watch me. And um, have a lovely, beautiful day. Take care. And God bless. There's truth and clarity for somebody. Eh? It might be a dog person. Have a lovely, beautiful day. Take care. And God bless.